Hi guys, my name is Jason Marshall, and on today's episode of Jason's Model Shop, we will be lighting up the warp engines on the Klingon D7 Battlecruiser right after this. <laughs> But I did get the result I want over here. Um, a nice dim glow that doesn't overpower or cast a lot of light onto the rest of the ship when all the surrounding light is turned off. All right, so uh, because I showed you earlier how I, you know, how to solder up LED tape, I went ahead and did that step. I also went ahead and ran the power wire through the, uh, through the pylon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these two pieces into here uh, to provide lighting for the uh, for the warp engines. If you're not familiar with LED tape, it actually has a 3M uh, sticky back. Peel off this other side, and then we'll just tuck the extra wire up in the back of the cell while we attach that. But that's basically uh, it for how I lit the nacelles. And uh, you might be wondering why I haven't painted, you know, done any light blocking or had any primer. Um, I'm going to do what I did on the other one, which is take it outside and prime and paint it as one piece. Because the plastic is particularly thick, so light blocking hasn't been an issue. Uh, two coats of primer uh, actually uh, have been perfect for keeping any uh, light spill away. And uh, then afterwards, we'll go back and fix the seams and just do spot fixes. All right, so I went outside and primed and uh, painted the two halves. Lights are installed. Part of the problem is they're white. But there's a simple solution to that. X25 clear green from Tamiya. And we're simply going to add it on top of each LED. Solves the problem of not having the uh, correct color of uh, LED tape in stock. There's two benefits to this. One, you can get away with having one color of LED tape, and this dims down the uh, intensity of the LED just a little bit. And because I don't want a super intense light in my nacelles, this is just about perfect. And there we go. So all that's left before closing this up is adding the uh, the grills for the nacelles. Now I'm going to apply the uh, plastic cement to this area here. Install the piece and then let her dry up. Slide that in. Make sure we got a good fit. And we'll do the same with the other. There you go. Piece installed. I got a little bit of paint on there I got to clean up. But otherwise, we're in good shape and we can close this up. And there you have it. There's the assembled uh, cell. It's still going to need some seam work and whatnot. And as you can see, I didn't have any handy ends. But that's just. Uh, I can work around that with masking and uh, selective painting. You know, hit the lights. And there you go. They got a nice green glow. It's a little weak in the middle if you're looking head on, but uh, if you're coming in from an angle. It looks good. All right, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, please leave your comments and questions down below. If this is your first time here, I do have plenty of other content available. I'd love to have you subscribe, and don't forget to check back every Wednesday for new content.